say that I'm sorry that I haven't been posting videos on a regular basis weekly like I promised to do so many times. As for next week, so again, I really want to get back on a regular basis of you know, posting these videos weekly. In fact, this morning I went out and went garage selling for the first time in quite a while and I want to share with you guys what I found. So with that said, I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way through. I will see you guys hopefully uh, sooner than later and hopefully, like I said, in less than a week. What is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. This week should be a very interesting week. If you saw the title already, you know that we are probably gonna go ahead and restore some vintage hats. Just a real quick side note, this entire episode's gonna be filmed on my phone because, well, you might be wondering what I do with my camera. I sold it. Don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a great camera. It's just, I got some, uh, some bigger plans on the way. So with that said, I just wanted to apologize real quick for any of the audio or visual disruptions. You're just gonna have to deal with it this episode. If by chance you happen to be brand new to my channel, I am currently on a journey to turn $100 into $100,000. So far we've tried everything from flipping things at estate sales, thrift stores, as well as even flipping furniture, which quick update on the furniture. I still haven't sold the table or the light, so I still have those, and uh, back to this chair. Now, I thought I was done with furniture flipping for the week, but yesterday I went to an estate sale. I found this red leather mid-century modern steel case chair from like the 50s or 60s. I just thought it looked really cool. Posted it up on OfferUp this morning. Instantly got an offer for $125. I had it listed for $150, but I went ahead and accepted the $125 because I only bought it for $25. So. The guy who's gonna buy it is actually coming right about now, so we should sell this item and make a quick hundred bucks. Hey guys, sorry for the quick cut, but in the middle of me trying to record that last segment, the guy who was buying the chair showed up. So we did sell that chair for $125. Again, I purchased it for $25 at an estate sale yesterday, so that gives us a net an additional $100. And so with that said, we can continue on now with the rest of the video. So it's been maybe about five weeks since that last segment that I filmed. I think we're going on a new record for amount of time between episodes, but uh, I'm not giving up on this. And I uh, want to show you guys what I alluded to in last episode, some of the items that I picked up that I said were really interesting. And so let's dive into them. So right out of the gate, a Vietnam era flak vest, 20 bucks for it. and. We sell for easily over $100 on eBay. Two other small items that I picked up at this uh, same garage sale, just a vintage Pyrex dish. Uh, the fact that nobody had grabbed this by the time I got there was kind of interesting, but this is like an easy $20 item that I can sell. A Sony Walkman. Uh, these do really well, anywhere from like 20 to 40 bucks, depending on which one you get. But primarily what I purchased, oh shit. So primarily what I wanted to talk to you guys about this week is what I bought at that garage sale were all of these items. So as you can see, this bin was sitting up front and uh, I started sifting through it and I just said, how much for the whole box? And he said, 10 bucks. And I said, cool. Let's dive into what's in here. There are a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of really gross and dirty, but vintage hats that I think are pretty cool. So. Actually, we'll get to these in a second. The other items that were in this box, like I said, were a ton of in-box uh, Nike Jordans. In fact, these are so old and so used that a lot of them are kind of disintegrating. Uh, this receipt is from October 27th, 2000. So it's almost been, we're two days away from this pair of shoes being 21 years old since it was purchased. So, but just to give you guys an idea, a lot of these shoes are so old that they are literally disintegrating like I'm not even kidding they're actually disintegrating I'm just I just want to get things sold at this point and kind of want to move on from flipping that I'm just gonna list the entire pile of shoes uh, just to as a giant lot for somebody to refurbish if they're into that I'm sure there's some I think I looked up some of the comps on them some of these Jordans could be worth like a few hundred bucks if they're in perfect condition with the original box and we have a lot of boxes of them. So again, I think there will be somebody out there that'll buy the whole lot of them for maybe a hundred bucks or so. So look at a piece of a shoe flew off. 
What I really wanted to talk about were the hats this week. So primarily like what you may not realize is that a lot of these hats are really cool, uh, you know, old vintage hats. Like this, for example, this Chicago uh, Bulls hat, I think sells for almost around like $150 in like pretty good condition. But as you can tell, a lot of the hats are like this. They're really dirty, they need to be cleaned. And so that's what we're gonna do this week. So uh, this one's just for me for obvious reasons. The only other thing I need to mention is you want to grab a bunch of plastic bags. So on your way out, oops, you grabbed a couple extra. All right, let's actually go work on these. So that's why you saw me go to the grocery store to pick up uh, some dish soap, some hairspray, and some, uh, uh, you know, uh, plastic bags. So the idea here is we're gonna take one of these hats essentially we're gonna fill up a big bucket of soapy warm water and then uh, tons of this on it. We're gonna let the hat kind of soak in there. I'm gonna grab a brush. We're gonna brush the hats. Once that's done, I'm gonna stuff the inside with plastic bags so that it kind of keeps its shape. I'm gonna spray it real quick with a layer of hairspray on the inside and the outside. That's what I've seen people do here on YouTube. And so hopefully we're gonna test that theory, see if it works. All right, let's get into it. Let's get this cleaning done because this episode, this episode is taking so long. What's up guys? So it's the next day. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check on the hats and see how they're doing. Overall, again, I'm super pleased with how the process turned out. Like the Bulls hat literally looks brand new. Uh, it looks amazing. Like this one right here, looks really good. Uh, but I ran into a bit of an issue. It seems like the wider hats, for some reason, I don't know if you can see this, but the stain kind of like, I don't want to say it spread or got worse, but it seems like as it dried, it kind of moved upwards, like in this hat right here. So it seems like the all the crud came out of the bill and whatnot, but the, the stain kind of moved upwards. So because of that, uh, what I'm gonna need to do is basically redo the hats that are white. What I'm gonna do differently this time is I'm gonna do a warm soak. I'm gonna use warm water. And then as soon as I take them out and I stuff them, I'm gonna hit them with the blow dryer. So that way, as they dry, the, the moisture doesn't kind of bring the stain upwards. So I gotta redo a couple of them, but I will uh, do that. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when they're ready. All right, well, another week's gone by and I still haven't uh, still haven't listed these hats. Um, okay, I think when I last left off, I was gonna redo some of the white hats and some of the other hats that the brims were still dirty. So take a look at them now and you can see they are much more cleaned up. Everything's looking uh, really good. For example, like here is one of the white hats that had a lot of coloration fading up it, but now it looks really, really good. Again, I'm still, uh, I think most pleased with like this uh, Chicago Bulls hat, which is in perfect condition and the forms kept really well. Um, so like once I take the plastic bags out of it, uh, because of the hairspray and stuff, the form keeps itself uh, pretty decently. So I think it's time to finally take photos and sell all these hats because they've just been sitting here in this garage for another week. And uh, yeah, we need to get them sold. But again, overall the process I think was was super successful. So basically next steps, all I gotta do is take some photos here in the light box and then start listing them on eBay. I'm not gonna show you guys that process because it's uh, you know something you've seen a million times. Uh, with that said, I think I'm gonna finally end this video and post something after weeks of not posting anything on this channel channel so uh yeah they appreciate you guys watching and uh we'll see you in the next one whenever that is all right peace out later